Now we're going to look at polyatomic ions. We talked about this a little bit before. Polyatomic ions are groups of atoms that act as one ion. So all of these, again, will have a charge of minus one. All of these will have a charge collectively of two minus. So as a group, they have a charge. So it's important we do know these names. And there's kind of a trick to it. It just seems overwhelming now. But after a while, I mean, it's, you just, if you kind of get the, uh, the hang of it, it's a little easier. Now, first of all, notice that they all, except a couple, uh, end with oxygen. All end with oxygen. Right? And uh, hydronium is a little different there. And also notice it's, they're all, except a few, eight, 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 it's eight. All these at the end in oxygen will be eight, eight. Eight, 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 and they're all negative except for these two, and most of them have negative one charges. So let's look at the charge of negative ones. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So have fourteen negative one polyatomic ions. Now how about negative two? We have a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. There are eight with a charge of negative two. Negative three, we just have one, two. All right, so that's two. And what about the positive ones? Well, those are just the two as well. If we see these uh, over here, we have what is the difference between eight and eight? What does that mean? And what is the per and the hypo, the per? What, is, what does all that mean? Let's look at uh, some basic rules, and hopefully it'll be easier to follow all this. So these are shortcuts with polyatomic ions. Now, if you have ending, if you have a prefix as well, prefix or suffix, um, let's just start here. The 8. The 8 is a base number of oxygen. So notice they all had oxygen, except a few. And the, only the ones that had oxygen were the 8 and the 8. 8. Now, 8 is the base number. And notice that 8 is 1 less. And hypo-ite is 2 less. Hypo, remember if you're hypoallergenic or hypoallergenic or hypothermic, hypo is below if you're hypoactive, you're like chill, as opposed to hyper, per is more. You're hyper. You're just, I'm just all crazy. So you're crazy, more, hypo, you're chill, less. So eight is your base. Now to remember that, you eight, you always, you want to eight more. If you're given something to eat, you're going to eight the bigger one. It's itty bitty. The little one is itty. I T E itty. So one less. So the base, if we can just remember the chlorates here, go from one to three, four. Well, the itty bitty ones are the hypo itty. Eight. Hypoite, hypochlorite, chlorite, that's next in line. Well, the, the biggest one must be the per, the hyperchlorate, or just the perchlorate. And this is a chlorate right here. You ate the bigger one, you perchlorate the real bigger one because you're hyper. The itty one is a smaller one, and the hypo itty, hypoite, itty bitty, is the itty bittiest. So 
So let's just look at these it's nitrate or nitrite. The acetate is basically by itself. The uh, cyanide, hydride oxide, permanganate. Um, these ones. Oxalate is by itself. Sulfate, sulfite. Um, hydrogen, sulfate, sulfite. Carbonate. Uh, they're both carbonates. They're both chromates. Uh, there's only one silicate, phosphate, phosphite. And these are both phosphates. So there's really only one, two, three, four, five groups that are doing the ites and eight. Again, the bigger, there's more oxygens. You ate the more oxygen. You're hungry. You want to eat the more oxygen. You have the itty, smaller number of oxygens. Two oxygens is itty one. Three oxygens you ate. It's bigger. And this we already talked about. So really the, the hardest one probably are the chlorates. Sulfate, sulfite. Four is that you ate the bigger one. It's the itty is the smaller one. Three. Same thing. You ate the bigger one at four. The smaller one is at three. The phosphite. Eight smaller, eight bigger. Let's look at the ones that are just basically carbon. Carbon and oxygen. They're really basically the same charge, you see, of course, two minus, two minus. Um, so carbon eight, you have the O3. This was, should just kind of be straightforward. It's carbon and the oxygen, which is eight. Now this one is bigger, right? So C2O4, the bigger one is the ox. If you see a bigger um, one between with just carbon and oxygen, um, that's ox. It's like an ox. Ox, oxen are bigger. Also, uh, you have the big football player on your team. You just call him ox. Maybe you know someone at Brother Rice. Big big lineman called ox. So the ox way to tell them to part oxalate carbonate. Um, ox has more it's bigger. Notice we have a hydrogen in front of the same exact thing, so it's called a hydrogen carbonate. So you know carbonate. We put a hydrogen in front of it, so it's hydrogen carbonate. Um, let's look at this one. This is the only one that's C H and O. And what does CHO spell? It spells show. And who is in the show? The ace. Ace is in the show. An ace named Tate is in the big show. Cyanide, uh, that's the only one with nitrogen and carbon. That's the poison. So it's a, po it's a sin, if you spell this out, sin. To sin to poison someone. So don't get any ideas. Hydroxide is extremely important in chemistry and in life. So we really need to know that. Um, remember those hydroxy, those hydroxy um, cookies? Not hydroxy cookies. Yeah, they're hydrox, hydrox, something like that. But they're kind of like the cheap Oreos, and they're not as good as Oreos. So. But that's how you can remember it, because every time you bite into one, you say, um, that's not Oreo, that's hydroxy. Oh, or hydrox cookies, something like that. But it's important to remember what those are. The only one with manganese is permanganate. So that should be uh, hopefully straightforward. We can see the chromates here. It's still eight chrome. So the bigger one is just the dichromate. So notice there's two chromiums. So this one's the dichromate. And you can think, oh my gosh, this one has seven oxygens. Oh, I'm going to just die with all this. So it's so big. I'm just going to die with that. Think of the bigger one. But also dye is two. Um, so look at all the phosphates and phosphites. And the, the if we add a hydrogens to it, this in front of it is a hydrogen phosphate. And because, look, they're all fours, so this is a hydrogen. Look at it like this. 
a hydrogen phosphate is a 2 minus. A dihydrogen phosphate is a 1 minus. And how do we get those charges? How come they went from a minus? Because remember, a H will add a plus. H will take away one of those. So if we add an H to this, it goes to a 2 minus. If we add two H's, it goes to just one minus. But just remember, it's dihydrogen is two hydrogens. One hydrogen is hydrogen, etc. So silicate. The only one with silicone, so it's silicate. The two positive ones, ammonium and hydronium. So hydronium ion is the water. It's important when we get to acid bases. Hydronium is the water with an extra proton on it. Um, really, these just take practice and try to uh, do these. Now, these are really uh, some extremely fun flashcards that you can try online. I recommend you do that. Uh, you can even post, you bring your computer to a party automatically. You are the life of the party. You are cool. Um, you put this on your MySpace site, a link to that. I mean, you're going to get so many friend requests. Um, I mean, I'm going to try it out once I get my MySpace going. I'm almost, I'm almost there. I'm just still working on Still working on it but try this so for example you click on one of these and let's see what happens what you're given is the formula and then what you could do you have to be honest with yourself and say well uh, an H4 plus that's ammonium and then you click on the correct cards OH is hydroxide let's see if that's correct yes I click on the correct cards C2H3O2 minus uh, you be careful. This isn't a. This is a, not a subscript. It's the charge. Um, that's acetate. But let's say I get it wrong. Let's say I call it hydroxide again. Up, oh, it's acetate. So I'm going to put that in the incorrect one. Let's say this is this is chlorite. Uh, let's just call it chlorate, even though it's chlorite. Uh, I said chlorate, so it's incorrect. Now this is chlorate, but I'm going to say it's perchlorate. I got it wrong again. So I put in the incorrect ones. Now what I can do is I can retry these and try them again, the ones that I get wrong. So I just, after I go through them and get them all wrong, I can keep trying to acetate. Okay, I got that right. Chlorate and chlorite. So this is really a great way and also a fun way of uh, testing yourself. Now the other link is the other way around. So the other one is showing the ammonium going going to the name first and uh, you just can say the formula in H4+. Plus and that's correct. Uh, nitrite, NO2 minus, and Notice uh, you can. There's a timer. You can time yourself. You can pause if you want to. Like some more friends come to the door, you know, wanting to come to the party, you can pause it. Um, also, if you look down at the bottom, show answers first. It's just the reverse of what we were doing. So you really don't have to go to the two links. Uh, you can just do the one link. But, you know, give it a shot. It's, it's a uh, barrel of monkeys.